it's lecture number 20 of SOLIDWORKS for 3D modeling series in SOLIDWORKS in this lecture we will learn to model soccer ball in SOLIDWORKS as you can see if you search on uh, uh, YouTube about how to 3D model a soccer ball in SOLIDWORKS then you get these type of videos where everyone is telling to draw a soccer ball pentagon to hexagon but if you look uh, into my 3d model of a soccer then you know that uh, I draw it pentagon to pentagon mean the beauty of that tutorial you will not get a single hexagon in my 3d model only you will get the pentagon in every corner of the 3d model so let's start to draw it we just have to create a new file in part mode and uh, start sketching on top plane select pentagon from sketch toolbar and set its number of sides up to 5 and uh, uh, just start from origin point and place it like that set the dimension of the side up to 50 millimeter with the help of smart dimension just exit the sketch after that we will draw a, a plane which angle is 116.5 degrees just select the top plane and uh, this line while holding control key just choose plane from the reference geometry and set the angle 116.5 and accept it now just start sketching on that uh, plane and uh, just uh, select another pentagon and place it by making a center reference from our origin point select these uh, two line while pressing control key and set the collinear relation just select these two points and apply coincident relation similarly select these two points and assign coincident relation exit the sketch and just hide the uh, plane from the surface select the uh, planar surface and uh, convert that sketch into planar surface similarly convert uh, that sketch into uh, planar surface now just uh, start sketching on front plane select single line and uh, draw it from origin point vertically we use that line for construction geometry exit the sketch from uh, the reference geometry just uh, select the point and uh, select the option center of the face and select that face and accept it now you can see a point placed in the center of uh, the face successfully now again uh, start sketching on front plane set the view to normal position just start single line from that point and uh, draw it like that now just convert it uh, into construction line now just select that line and the face while holding control key and assign perpendicular relation just exit the sketch actually we need a point on that intersection of these two lines just start sketching on uh, front plane now just uh, uh, place a point uh, from the sketch toolbar and uh, place it on uh, intersection point and exit the sketch just hide uh, both of the sketches actually we just need that point for that we draw these two lines now we will start sketch on that face and set the view to normal we will draw a pentagon from the origin uh, and uh, and for the end point uh, of the pentagon we will just take a reference from the center of the side just uh, uh, now set the uh, length uh, up to 25 millimeter just exit the sketch you can exit sketch by double click on the graphics area again sketch on that face and uh, set the view to normal now we will take a single line and uh, start from that point and end it on that uh, midpoint of that side just extend the line like that 
and complete another pentagon just exit the sketch now from features just select the lofted boss base uh, option now just select uh, these two uh, sketches you can see a 3d formation is created successfully now just select these two uh, sketches again and uh, also uh, uncheck the merge results of options and just accept it now you can see a second primitives is also created now just uh, show that uh, sketch just select the circular pattern uh, from the features and for direction just select that line after selecting uh, the bodies option just select that body here the number of instance should 5 and the angle should 360 and equal spacing just accept along with that if you see here a merge result option then you should uncheck now we just created a formation like that we will draw that same geometry on that face just uh, start sketching on that face and draw a pentagon uh, like that and uh, set the length of that side up to 25 millimeters exit the sketch and again select that face for sketching select the single line and draw a geometry like that now you can see a pentagon is created successfully just exit the sketch just select these two sketches and uh, select the lofted boss base option and uncheck the merge results option again we will select these two uh, sketches and select the lofted boss base option again uh, uncheck the merge results option also just show that uh, sketch and uh, select the circular pattern option and uh, for direction just select that line center line now you can uh, uh, just select the body option from circular pattern and select the uh, that body and just accept it so the finally we just created that 3d formation now we will just pattern that bodies uh, using circular pattern now just select these five uh, bodies and uh, set the number of instance up to five and accept it now you can see we created something like that now just select the uh, top plane and uh, from reference geometry just select the plane now with the reference of top plane set the dimension of that plane up to 55.7 millimeters now we will just mirror that uh, 3d body uh, along with that plane so uh, we will select the mirror command and for mirror plane just select that plane for bodies just select these all bodies one by one
just accept it now all body is mirrored successfully now from uh, direct editing just select the move copy bodies command now just uh, select the rotate option from here for rotate just uh, select that center line and enter here the value of 36 millimeter and select all of the bodies one by one Now just uncheck copy option and accept it. Now you can see a globe is going to complete. Now just uh, uh, start sketch on right plane and draw a single line like that and convert it into construction geometry. Now just select the end point of the line and the uh, edge by pressing control key and assign a coincident relation. Now just place another line on the center of the vertical line uh, like that. And uh, convert it into construction geometry also. Place three point arc like that and select both ends of the arc and the center line and assign a symmetric relation after that place a line like that on that point and just convert it into construction line just select these line and the arc and assign a tangent relation place another line of uh, 95 millimeters and uh, just delete that line and create a geometry with the help of a single line like that Now uh, from features just select revolve cut option and for axis of revolution just select the center line and accept it. So uh, finally you can see a pentagon to pentagon soccer ball is created successfully. Now we will just change the uh, color of the uh, bigger pentagons after hiding the uh, sketch just select these bigger pentagons and assign black color from the appearance menu Now you can see a beautiful soccer ball is created uh, successfully. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it a lot and uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel.